how to install academy lms that's learning management system let's see some properties of this script how it works academy lms collaborates two user types primarily admin and students if you are sole instructor of your course portal if you allow if you allow public instructions then it becomes three that's the basis of how it works to for sample test i will be using code list to download this script and also use link in the description to hire me to hire me to help you install the script also please like share and subscribe to the video and if this video was helpful please link in the description to buy me a coffee so next let me go to my code list or cc code list the CC then enter please use link in the description to purchase script license to go live code list is only meant for testing purposes so now I will click on my search button and search for academy elements then management system then I click on my enter Okay. Here is it. I click on this. Then next, I move down. I use any of this link to download my script let me say I use this Control copy I open a new tab then press to there then enter so, next I click on download it's 30.13 meg so I click on download after the download I close the tab then I go to my download so the next I go to my download here is the script I just downloaded please don't forget please link in the description to purchase script license to go live all this is only meant for testing purposes so I double click on this to extract it so, then I extract. I say OK. So we are starting. OK. After the extraction, I close it. So, after the extraction, this is it. Then I open it. I open this, let me see. OK. This is the script I'm looking for. It's a zip file. So this is what I will upload to my C panel. So let me go to my C panel. So from here I go to my C panel. I click on my C panel. Use link in the description to hire me to help you install the script. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And if this video was helpful, use link in the description to hire me. If this video was helpful, use link in the description to hire me to, to buy me a coffee.
Okay, next. I go to my fine manager. Then I go to my subdomain because I'm using a subdomain. My subdomain, I'm using this. It. I click on it. I've already uploaded the the zip file, which is this academy LMS. But let me show you how I uploaded it. I click on upload. If this video was helpful, use link in the description too. If this video was helpful, use link in the description to buy me coffee. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Also, use link in the description to hire me to help me install the script. Don't forget, use link in the description to purchase script license to go live. All this is only meant for testing purposes. So next, after I click on upload, I click on, I drag the file, I left click, then click on my mouse, then move it. I move my mouse while I'm right clicking, then it drop itself. But because I have already uploaded it, I won't drop it there. I'm returning it. So after that, after that, I click on my go back. So then I right click on this and start. I start files. So everything is in order. Then I click on my close. Here is it. Then next I select all. I click on select all. Then I right click. I click on move to move it to the root folder. Then move files. Up one level. So here is it. I can now delete this because I'm not using it anymore. I click on it, then delete. So, I'm done with this part. Next, I go to back to my C panel. Okay. I go back to my C panel. My database. So, I need to create my database now. So, let me name my project as P. Okay. Then I click on create database. Next, I click on go back. After creating the database, I'm going to create the user. Okay. Add the user. Add the new user. Let me name it as this and this user. My password. My password. Then I click on create user. Go back. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Now, I've created the user, the database. Let me now add the user to the database. I'm going to make sure I select the user that I just created, MDT user. Then, next, I'm going to create uh, select the database. I'll make sure I select the one I just created. Then, next, I click on add.
use link in the description to hire me to help me install the scripts then I give up privileges I move down then I make changes I click on make changes so with this I'm done because I've created the I've uploaded and extracted the file in the subdomain and I've created the, the database then I click on go back next I go to my site which is my domain name which is this mgt okay then I enter next I click on start installation process continue as I said earlier use link in this description to purchase script license to go live code list is only meant for testing purpose so because i didn't purchase this this is just for testing purpose so i put nil then continue if this video is helpful if this video was helpful use link in the description to buy me coffee my database name here is it I I can go back to my this to copy the database name, but well, because it's already there, already. MGT is a. I can just copy it like this. Go to copy. Then that's username. Then paste. For the user, uh, for the database name, this is it. So I just added user again. So my password yeah. is what I used. Database host. That's local host. Then I click on continue. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Then I click on my install. Importing data database. Use link in the description to hire me to help you install the script. System name. Let me say Academy. That's the name of the application. Admin first name, let me say this. Admin last name, let me say this. Admin email, let me say yes. Password, let me just say. Then set me up. So, admin. Password, okay. Login. So now I'm going to log in now. I use admin at gmail.com. My password I use. Login. Login. So now this is my data, this is my dashboard. I can add on messages as let me see admins. Manage admin. So like this. Let me see course. Okay. Manage course I will course category. 
Uh, if I'm going to add new category or this stuff. So, that uh, makes me to come to the end of this video. So please like, sh share, and subscribe to the to my videos. And use link in description to hire me to help you install the scripts. If this video was helpful, use link in description to buy me coffee. Please, lastly, don't forget to use link in description to purchase script license to go live. I only use code lists for testing purposes. Thank you, thank you, thank you.